Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the channel. It's Raw Hog here. Today we have another blacksmith safe. So these are the quick access safes uh, with the fingerprints. You have your key code, all those good things. So this one's already been set up. We'll show you how to do that. Just want to give you a little look inside uh, the differences on this one versus the other one, which we'll leave a link below to the other one. Uh, this one has two, it's a seven pistol two pouches in the door and we'll put ammo and guns and stuff in here to show you what it looks like and it also has the the rack in there so they sit in there it's removable so you can take that out and just use the shelf or just lay them in there on their side you also have the gun racks you have they're removable adjustable um, and it'll hold up to five light doesn't come with it we're just doing that so you can see it um, but again we'll take you through the whole process um, blacksmith you know, they specialize in these quick access safes with boxes, uh, you know, like bedside boxes for safety to keep everybody safe, for travel boxes, for, you know, safes for in the car and things like that. And of course, these, um, you know, if you have a small collection, I mean, you can, put, you can put quite a bit of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. You can jewelry, just all kinds of good things. Decent amount of space. But mainly these are for, you know, some valuables plus getting a quick access to a weapon that when you need it in the home, uh, these are at least. So, again, the dimensions on this is a little bit wider, but it's uh, 54.3 inches high. It's 11 inches deep in here. Uh, the shelf's a little bit shorter than that, and it is 13.8 inches wide. So, we're going to go over the features of this and how to set it up. Uh, it's packed with features. It's, it's, it's pretty neat little, uh, pretty neat little safe for the price. So... We'll start off with what the package comes with. The package comes in this little, comes in with this right here, your little, little holds all these goodies and your instruction manual. Now, if you miss anything in this video and you're like, I don't get, this is a very detailed pictures and detailed manual. Uh, and so you'll be fine with that. So it comes with your set of keys. It comes with your wall anchors. We'll show you those holes here in a minute. It comes with wall and floor anchors. And like I said, it comes with a lot of features. So right here, you can see it plugs in, it has a USB if your battery it warns you when your battery is dead. It gives three beeps when you're when you're putting in your code. The battery, the, the, the thing beeps and lets you know. So if it dies on you, you can use this to plug in here, get power to get back in your safe. That's if you, and you also have a key backup. So that all comes taped to the front, has a little door here, and you're able to put it in, open it up, and there you go to begin your process. Of course, this won't be in there obviously. <laughs> so that doesn't come with it. So there you are. Once you're in there, if you look right here, you have your battery door. It takes four double A's. I'm not going to show you how to do that. But once you're in, you put that in there um, and you're, you're good to go from there. You start, you start your process. But again, these aren't like the cabinets. Remember the old cabinets? Um, you know, this is not a cabinet. I mean, this is an actual safe. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out. But if you, if you take a look here, you can see these bars. So again, it, it's, you know, it's a quality safe. I mean, you know, again, it's not Fort Knox, but you know, you, you, it's around $300. So, and again, I want to say that we will leave a link below to give you, I think it's a little 10% discount. discount. Um, you know, we get a little kickback from qualified uh, purchases from Amazon. So, which is that where this was, one uh, comes from. So, but anyways, there's that. So, like I said, once you put your, once you put your key in and you open it up, you can go ahead and remove that. Let me go ahead and shut it. I had it, it open to show you that. So we'll let it shut down. Um, but so it has no batteries in it. You open it up. There's your battery deal. It takes four double A's. Once you're in there like that, then you push this button right here. If you can see this green button. So that green button is your settings button. So that's how you uh, control everything to put your codes in and whatnot. So, so for example, here the you push it once to hear two beeps. So I've done this one. So it's ready to accept a thumbprint. You push it four times. One, two, three, four. And now it's done. So it registered in there. Let's see if it worked. And it worked. So you can put up to 30 fingerprints in there. You know, that's, that's getting crazy, you know. So, but it'll take up to 30. If your battery dies or anything, you don't lose any of that. So... That's how, you know, that's how simple it is to do the fingerprints. So there's that. You have your key 
And it also comes with a factory code. It also comes with a factory code. But I'll just do that again. Hold on a second. I've already put this thumbprint in. Let me get you set up here. So now it comes with a factory code, which is... So, and then it opens up. So there is your code. Once you're in there, you light up your code, hit zero, zero. Then you come and hit your button again. Now it is ready to accept your number. I'm gonna keep it simple. And now it's changed. So you have your code. So now all you do is just put in the code that you did. And you can change your code like that. So, I mean, that is pretty simple if you ask me. Um, we're gonna put some things in here. We're gonna put some guns in here. Kind of let you see how much space you've got and let you see how, see how this works. I will say on these, I would, you know, you can adjust these how you want, but as you can see there, when you have guns in there, they'll hold pretty good. But it would make, it makes sense if you, you know, put a little Velcro there or something like that is what we did on the other one. Uh, if you can see in here, all these little shells have carpeting. So they've really looked at uh, some of the fine, you know, the finer things. Now, it has a mute function on it as well. So all you have to do is you just, you wake it up and then you hit 11 and then the little star right there and it'll, it'll silence the safe. Now, if you put the code in wrong three times, an alarm sounds, the wrong thumbprint three times, the alarm sounds. So then you have to put in the correct code, um, fingerprint or code to get it to stop. Um, so, so there's that. And like I said, the alarm, the battery will remind you when it gets low. So we're going to put some things in here and let's let you see how much stuff you can put in here. So we'll be Okay, so here we go. We're gonna, so if it's dark out there, you just touch that. Very bright. And then once you open it up, when you put your code in, you can see it, it does a lot. It's nothing, nothing much. It's a lot brighter than I'm sure it shows on the camera, but you can see in there weapons to grab and stuff in a, in a dark situation. So, so that's pretty neat. Um, another little feature of this, go ahead and start here. All right, just to give you an idea, it says a five rifle safe. So again, you know, if you look in here, you know, of course, if you're just doing shotguns, but you start adding magazines, you start adding optics, you're going to take up the space, and that's the way it is with any safe. So we've got an AKV here. Uh, AR-15 would be the same thing. Uh, not the same thing, but, I mean, as far as storage with a, with a longer mag. Um, and in my opinion, if you're doing a quick access safe, you want it ready to go, you know. But if you can look there with the two guns, you have your ammo, magazine. I mean, really... Just let your imagination run wild. <laughs> you know, there's any kind of you know variations that you can do here. It's endless. Um, like I said, you can put multiple shotguns, multiple you know rifles as long as they don't have optics. Um, so as you can see in here, we've got a 43x, 26 uh, Ruger LCR. Um, something I found out that, of course, anything bigger like a full size, like this is a Glock 17. This is a MP 10 millimeter. They will not work here. I'm gonna try to shut the door. That shuts fine with this. If you put, let's see. Double check this. Take the magazine out. Let's say you put a Glock 17, a full size up here. As you can see, the door's gonna bump it and it's up there all the way. So it's gonna bump. I don't know if you can go in there on the side. And see it in there but it's gonna bump so so full size will have to go in the door which is this isn't a deal breaker but um, and I've adjusted that any way you can but as you see in there like I said you get into the safe you can grab it and access it um, that way you can grab it in here um, and then you can grab it from the door stuff like that um, lots of ways lots of variations it'll hold pretty much anything you need um, so that's pretty much it so, all right, we saw some shooting, you know, at the beginning and the other video, but let's see, I'm gonna show you on this one how quick you can get in here. Pretty quick, bam, you access, access your pistol or same thing with your rifle. So, you know, really nice saves, especially for the price. I just think it's, it's a good bit of quality. So, 
for a reasonable price. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks for stopping by. We're hoping to get the other safe and we can do a comparison, a full side-by-side -side comparison, do a thorough review. So again, we'll leave a link below to this, the discount code. Uh, be sure to check these out. Uh, I'll leave a link for the other video as well. That way you can you know, see that one and pick which one works best for you. Check Blacksmith out though. They have a lot of different uh, options like the bedside uh, safes, tr uh, vehicle safes and stuff like that. So, so thanks for watching. All right, thanks for stopping by. You know what I mean? And as always, you know how you like your reviews? You like them raw.